Nearly two weeks ago, Astroneer put out their recap for 2022, highlighting updates to Astroneer, new products that they've released, and major milestones such as launching on the Switch platform. And they also, in system era fashion, dropped a major leak for 2023. This is One Last Midnight, and today we're going to take a look at the leak that was dropped by System Era in their Astroneer 2022 recap, and what it could possibly mean for the future of the game. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. So, at the end of the video, we are presented with this 8 second little teaser of something that is going to release in 2023 for Astroneer. At first glance, it kind of looks like a new snail with some sort of fluorescent translucent shell behind the console of what looks like a spaceship or space station. But is that really a snail? It's not. It's something completely different. At least it's not a snail that we've ever seen before if it is a snail. If it is a snail, snails now have ears. And honestly, that doesn't look like a shell, it looks more like a tail to me. So this is some sort of new animal. What kind of animal? I don't know. Could be cat, could be dog, could be fox, could be anything that has ears and a tail. Now during the slow pan into this particular thing, there are writings on the monitors and for the life of me, I can't identify what they actually say. I've taken it into Photoshop, I've tried to sharpen it, I've tried to remove motion blur, gauze blur, all kinds of blurs, and I just could not clear up any of the letters enough to be able to read what it says. There are also two mission log interfaces connected to this spaceship or space station. Whether it is a mission log or whether it is a lore interface is yet to be determined. And also it's yet to be determined if this is actually going to be a physical area in which we can play in or if this is just some sort of mock-up video. Clearly this creature is on a ship and that ship is moving through space. Or at the very least, it's in some sort of space station. You could tell that by looking out the windows and you can see that there's a star field. That's the normal star field that you see when you're on a surface of the planet. But if you watch closely, two things are happening. The star field is moving closer towards whatever that object is. And then also fading in in the background, there is some sort of purple thing. Then that purple thing is, has always been related to the gateway technology or that gateway lore stuff. So clearly, or at least I'm speculating, that it looks like this object is moving towards that particular purple thing. Whatever that is. But what does that really mean to the world of Astroneer? Since this teaser was released in the recap video of 2022, there's been a lot of things that have happened in 2022. I, I think that the placement of this teaser for 2023 inside of this video is not an accident. I, I think what they're saying is, and this is pure speculation, go back and look at 2022 for a hint of what's coming out in 2023. And so what has happened in 2022? Well, one of the major patches in 2022 was the Xenobiology update, where they introduced lore. And if you haven't played any of this, it's going to be kind of spoilerish from here to the end of the video. So if you don't want to have any of these stories spoiled to you, you might want to shut this off right now. In the Xenobiology update, there was a bunch of lore that came out as part of the Xenobiology lab as you're unlocking the galastropods, you're getting pieces of information. And a recap of that story is Dr. Ines was on a ship called Triton en route to Lubos Prime, and she was studying the galastropods when they detected an anomaly and changed course to investigate. On the way to the investigating of the anomalous reading, the Triton was attacked by an unknown assailant. During this, Dr. Ines sealed the lab with the galastropods inside and set it to jettison. The Triton was presumed destroyed and or captured, and the Triton was also thought to hold the liminal recondite devices. These are the LRDs or the little marbles that you find rolling around that have different textures on them. 
Now, fast forward to update 1.26.107, and that's where you have the sky that got fractured when you found the curious items. There was also something else that got added, which was the LRD behaviors got added into it, along with some additional lore. If you read the lore that's associated to the LRDs, it's kind of disturbing, but they talk about that they are retrieved from the wreckage of the ESS Triton. They're curious objects that don't have any damaged surface. And if around them too long, they kind of speak to you. <laughs> In the dead of the night, they whisper to you. But that wasn't the only lore addition to this particular update. There was also the curious items that you found. The curious items would, if you played with them, would fracture the sky and uh, produce a sound and, you know, make this guy look really cool. But each one of them had a different message. If you collected them all, there was a total of 67 messages. And the story in that was Bell, Dr. Stone, Frank, Dr. Lady, and some other characters were sent off in a ship called Elysium in order to go find the Triton. Elysium starts experiencing breakdowns. It's unknown why they're breaking down, but they're happening frequently and more often, causing concern with the crew. The crew is also having trouble sleeping, and crew members are experiencing hearing whispering. You later find out that Dr. Stone is has a secret unsanctioned work with Dr. Allen and is experimenting on the LRDs. The crew does find the Triton wreckage, but Dr. Stone is trying to sabotage the ship's computers from finding out about it so that he can get Dr. Allen's research files about the LRDs before anybody else notices them. One message in the lore says, you were right, the signal the LRDs emit is some sort of homing transmission, and I just received a response. Whatever the cause, it lies far from Earth. Dr. Allen triangulates the signal's location and the Triton turns off to go investigate. From here, the messages in the curious objects get strange because it's just kind of broken up and kind of weird, but they're talking about other people that have landed on silver, whatever, that are seeing other astroneers roaming around. They're wondering why there are other astroneers because they were under the impression they were the only ones that were designated to this system. There's you know, entries of, oh, I've just woken up Kalidor, I don't remember landing on Kalidor. Uh, messages of, I'm having a nightmare where my ship is crashing, it doesn't make any sense, is this my first mission? Then the majority of the remainder of the logs relate to the Elysium system error logs, the computer recording failures in power and trying to reboot systems, trying to reactivate systems. And finally, one of the last things that it says is, this is the only way I can save them all. And I'm thinking that they're talking about that there was some sort of problem in the reprinting, right? As when you die in Astroneer, you come back automatically, right? So this, there's this concept that you get reprinted and you just come back and you continue where you left off. The, the, the entries kind of allude to the fact that there's some something weird that was happening and people's memories were not being uh, restored properly. And even in the last of the Elysium system logs, Kronos is talking about he can't keep the memory files and he has to dump the memory files. So up until this moment, until this leak came out, there has been no new lore. All the lore that I've talked about has been part of the 2022. So here's my speculation. <laughs> This is my guess for the whole thing, is that that creature that we're seeing is part of the attacking creature or the attacking entity that wound up destroying the Triton and the Elysium. I don't know, far-fetched, but it just kind of seems to me it's interesting that in 2023 we get this hint of here is something new and it looks like an entity of some sort where the past lore has been talking about we've been attacked by some strange entity and so maybe maybe just maybe 
that this entity is making an appearance in 2023. Or as a secondary theory, this might be a whole tie-in to the graphic novel that's coming out in March of this year on Amazon. It's System Era's first graphic novel. It's their first print on any of the lore that they've released so far. And it might be in addition to any of the lore that they released so far. So it might be that as well. I don't know. I'm guessing at my backside. But look, look, I'm really interested in what your theories are. So make sure you put them in the comments. Well, look, that, that's it for me. Sorry for such a long video on speculating what this new leak is all about. But if you haven't already, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.